Hi everyone, this is your objective. Welcome to part two. Okay guys, if you've got highway pegs on your roll bar, crash bar, engine guard, whatever you want to call it, now you want to get those taken off. And to keep them where you like them, you take a little sharpie and you mark inside the little gap there and across the top just a little bit. So when you put it back on, you put it right back where it goes. And if you've ever messed with these, you know they're tight. Okay, now the fun begins. Taking off the lower fairings. Pop the cover off. Make sure you use a nylon tool or plastic. That way you don't scratch anything. Yeah, don't use any of mine. Yeah, don't use your wife's kitchen tools. No. Okay, now that we're here, what we're aiming for is there's a nut right here and there's a nut. right up here believe it or not yes they're 11 millimeter so we're going to loosen these up real quick now this one here is going to release the cover back here Real simple, get your nuts off. Again, using your nylon tool, you just pop the cover right off. And that's what's holding the cover on. Okay, what we're shooting for is these three bolts right here. You can't see the other one. So we have to take off this bracket here that holds the top of the lower fairing on. Take your two nuts off, take your bracket off. There's a nut down here, which is pretty difficult to get onto. But once you get onto it, break the nut loose. The nut and the bolt separated from the clamp bracket your fairing can move around easy then you can go for the three small bolts now these three bolts hold the front and the radiator into the housing Now make sure you don't lose these, but they're probably not going to come out until you actually pop them out. And then when you pop them out, they like to fly everywhere. So be careful. Thank you. 
All right, now that all three are loose, Okay, now that that's loose, we got two more on the lower side. Okay, these two bolts right here. So there's five total, three up top, two on the bottom. And they're out. Now your inner piece will come loose. And there's the inner. Here's a good time to show you the fan assembly. This is where the fan and the radiator sits. Here's your temperature sensor. Right here. Now you wanna be careful of your radiator. You don't wanna damage it. And you don't want to scratch this. Phew, boy, booger's dirty. Look at that. She's a dirty girl. Yeah, Marie, you need to clean this bike. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to get this cover off the coolant pump. And what you do is there's a little tab on here. You give it a pull. And once that comes loose, it's got two little pop tabs like your side covers and you just pull forward on both sides and your cover comes off you see the little tabs right here and here cover comes off real easy now here's your pump here's the thermostat here's your wire connection to the pump We're going to be replacing all this. All right. Time to drain the system. Make sure you get you a good catch pan under there. Not one of mine, I hope. <laughs> no, that's called a Harbor Freight Special. Ah. Okay, the easiest way to do this is since we're going to go ahead and replace the hoses in, in the kit we are going to go ahead and cut a slice into the hose because there is no pit cock there's no way to drain it other than pull the hose off of something so to try to control a little bit better i'm going to cut a little slice into it and then i'm going to pop the radiator pressure cap and hopefully this will work out a lot better and not make it smooth. Nice. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick this hose right here, which goes over to the left radiator. And I'm going to cut a slice into that hose. might help if you get a sharper blade. Want one of my kitchen knives? There we go. Oh, there we go.
Okay, now I'm going to release the, the pressure cap so air will get in and the water can come out. Sorry, coolant can come out. Pressure cap is off. All right, guys. We're to the point where we need to take off of all the lower hoses. That means the two hoses that are coming down from the down tubes, the hoses that are coming from the radiators, and everything, all the hoses that connect to the pump need to come off. Now some of these have these connectors on them, these hose clamps on them, that are a real pain in the butt. I've never liked them and when we go to replace them we're going to use actual hose clamps. I wish I could tell you an easy way of getting these off but there's no easy way. Just get you a good pair of dykes and take them off. Alright, next thing to do is to get you a T45 on an extension and remove the pump. There's two bolts that hold it on. Okay, I did leave one hose connected, and that's the right down tube. It's a little short hose, and it's a bitch to get off. So that's why it's, the pump's still hanging. But now that I got room to actually move the pump, you can get the hose off real easy. All you have to do is grab the thermostat and the pump and pull down. There's two electrical connectors in here that are Christmas treed in. You want to get them loose from the Christmas tree. And there's your pump and thermostat. Now. 